welcome back to Clive's Classic Lounge in the Shadow Victoria. I'm Sean Sewell. So we've done the View Coray already, a classic from New Orleans. We've got the Lazy Mon Sorrel Rum Punch, which is my favorite drink on our new tiki menu. Um, when I found the Sorrel Rum Punch, I was so excited. And then when I sort of twisted a little bit, um, that's why it's called the Lazy Mon. So the Lazy Man Sorrel Rum Punch. Uh, so Sorrel's a style of hibiscus that uh, they, they ground up, dried with ginger and cloves and cinnamon, some spice. Make a syrup out of it, add water, a ton of rum, and a little bit of lime juice. So I've sort of broken it down to its individual pieces because I got the ingredients in that way. So to start off, we're going to have an ounce and a half of 151. Yes, an ounce and a half of 151. This is a tiki drink after all. And you can't go wrong with overproof rum. You're going to get Bacardi overproof here in uh, BC. So we're going to use what we got. So the overproof rum, ounce and a half. A half ounce of the ginger of the Indies from Jafard. So there's our ginger element. So it's only a two ounce tiki drink, but at the end of the day, it's an ounce and a half of 151. So people are always like, oh, this is so easy to drink. I pound it. Yeah. And then they stand up and then they fall down and then they have another. So, hibiscus syrup. So uh, what I've basically done is I've taken off the, the syrup that the, the wild hibiscus from Australia has uh, been sitting in, and it tastes fantastic. It's the closest thing you're probably gonna get to a Sorel uh, syrup. So we're gonna go 20 mils, two thirds of an ounce of that. 10 mils or a third of an ounce of uh, cinnamon syrup. And 10 mils of, uh, or a third of an ounce of clove syrup. Now the reason why I've got I've separated all the syrups up is that the clove and the cinnamon go in other tiki drinks. So instead of making five syrups, I've just um, separated into smaller bits. So and then of course we're going to do an ounce of lime juice. Coming into the summer, we're getting some good limes now, thank God. It's a good amount of citrus to balance off that sweetness. And then give it a hard shake. So we have our lovely tiki glass, East Island head. We're going to fill that with crushed ice. Most tiki drinks go over crushed ice just because of the potency. Most punches you want to uh, water down as you drink them. So we're going to strain that over. Now tiki's coming back. Tiki's coming back in a big way thanks to Jeff Berry, uh, Stanislav Wagner, and the wicked tiki bars that are opening up all over the uh, east and west coast of uh, the US and in Europe. Everybody's loving tiki right now. So, garnish. You can't go by the classic parasol. So I'm going to slide that in. With tiki, it's bigger, louder, gaudier is better. So we're going to go a few pineapple fronds. And the piece de resistance, a straw with the edible hibiscus flower on it. Now the edible hibiscus flower tastes very similar to like a strawberry rhubarb jam. So you can eat that on top. So that is the Lazy Mons Sorel Rum Punch. Uh, stay tuned, we're going to do the Sewell Special Cocktail next uh, for Art of the Cocktail, uh, 15th, sorry, 16th, 17th, 18th of October at the Crystal Gardens of Victoria.